today Connor and I are at Fort Niagara where they're going to be doing artillery school and firing the big cannons they're actually all going to be getting qualified to go compete nationally so today should be a very interesting day we'll learn how to fire the cannons we'll see them fire the cannons and we'll see how loud the cannons are this is going to be fun once again we're at Fort Niagara Lewiston New York about 20 minute drive from Niagara Falls New York it's uh, cost us like $14 for an adult it was $14 adult $9 for a child Here's the entrance to Fort Niagara. It's supposed to be okay, Let's see what's going on in here. Look at those old wooden pulleys and they just use rocks as weight for counterweight for the doors to shut the doors this is so cool just imagine two guys pulling on that That must have been for the drawbridge that was outside the moat that we just walked over. It wasn't for the doors, it was actually for the drawbridge. Okay, I hear there's supposed to be uh, reenactors here today also. So not only are we gonna get to see the cannons get fired, hopefully we'll be able to reenact <clears throat> and react with some uh, reenactors. Oh, here's something, another entranceway here. It's really neat. Looks like we got some cannons in here. Oh yeah, this is definitely entrance that are gonna open up wide right into the fort. Here's some old cannons over here to the left of me. Oh, these old wooden staircase to go up. So interesting. I wonder if we're allowed up there. It's not roped off. Let's go see. I don't know, nothing's roped off. No one's saying we can't go up here. So we're gonna go up here and see what this is all about. Now this is really neat. Oh, this must be this. Oh yeah, there's like two stories here. This must be the bunks where they used to sleep. This is where they, the soldiers used to sleep. Oh, there's a little birdie. Hi, little birdie. Uh-oh, the birdie doesn't like me. Wow, this is so neat. Just really makes you Being here makes you be able to feel what it must have been like. I wonder how many guys they used to put on this bunk. How many of them used to sleep here? Look at these windows. This must be what they shot. Their rifles out of them if they had to. I wonder how many guys they would put here sleeping. Maybe I'll take a nap. Right here. Oh. Oh, no. That would not be comfortable. All right, let's go up to the next floor, see what's up there. I definitely don't need my sunglasses. This is really neat. Hey, how you doing? Good, how 
Oh, look at this counter. You can see the hole. Look, they got the tents out and everything for the reenactments. For the artillery school. Wonder if they're gonna be firing from right there. Looks like it. All right then, there's two cannons up here in this tower. Show them to you here. There's one. There's two. What do we got over there, huh? I'll let you read this little plaque here. Hope you can see it. It says the two guns mounted here are two 12 pounders. Wow. They just had cannons everywhere around here. This is where we just walked in from, where the drawbridge would have been. They got three cannons mounted there. Oh, you can see the moat better that we walked over now. I didn't even realize it was such a deep moat. Wow. We got more cannons here. Number 17 over there, that has to be where they kept the uh, powder and the ammunition. Alright, let's walk over here. Then we'll walk back down and see what we can get into. See here, uh, right here too, you can see a bunch of cannons there. Alright bud, let's go back downstairs. It's just really interesting. Let's see what it was like trying to walk down these steps. Whoa! Very dangerous. This is actually a very nice fort. So far, I know there's lots to see. This opens up obviously to the courtyard. Woo! As soon as we get out here, we'll see better. There we go. Alright, so which way do we have to go on our map? You got the map? See, we're following this little map here. Take a picture of it. Where's number one? Right here. I've never seen number one. Following this little map here. Tells us where to go. Uh, I think if we'll be okay as long as we just keep following number five. Where's number one, two, three? I think we passed up number one. We weren't reading the signs. We didn't see everything. Oh, look at that. That's just a beautiful picture. I don't know if you can see it or not. All right. Think these barracks are open? I don't know. Yeah, it must be. It says, please. What does it say? Please do not en enter. Okay, well, we definitely won't enter there. We can enter the next door. The next door we're allowed to enter. I'll probably have to put my mask back on. But, yep, here we go. Does it say what number five is? Let me put my mask back on. Let's see what it is. The provision storehouse. This must be where they kept all the food. Yep. This 
be a really cool house. Oh, do we go in or out? No, I don't, I don't think it matters. All right. Ready to keep going? Mm -hmm. Off to the next building? See what else is out here? I guess we would go to number six. I don't know. No, it's actually getting a little busy. Oh, number six. Wait, let them go in number six. Because of COVID, we got to all space ourselves out. Actually, we don't have to wear these masks anymore. At least that's what the CDC says. Two days ago, they said we didn't have to wear the mask anymore. But unfortunately, no one's changed their rules and regulations yet. So we will still be wearing this. All right, what's number six? One way in, one oh. way out. One way in, one way out, all right. <laughs> There's number four, I missed number four. Hmm. It's dark in there. It's dark? <laughs> it's dark. Your GoPro should pick up the light though. Oh, I hope so. Thank you. All right. One way in, one way out. Woo. Oh, wow. It is dark. Should have brought a flashlight. Let's see what we could see. Oh, there's enough light in here for me. Yep. This is where they cut the powder. One of the places where they kept the powder. Wow. All right, let's, we kind of got off track here. We, we already lost where we were going, where we weren't going. So now we gotta go back. We're gonna walk around to number four and see what number four was. You know what number four is? Mm -hmm. All right. You know, does it say what number four is? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna tell me what number four is? Maybe. Maybe? Let you find out yourself. Oh. You might be able to interact with the actors over there, so. Make sure I save myself some, whoo, some battery. See if I can get a look over top of the wall here. See what the soldiers would have been looking at when they were firing the cannons. Look at it. It definitely would have protected the uh, river. Any ship that would come down there from Lake Ontario and try to get into this river right here, these cannons would just obliviate them. There's no way they would get past these this fort. Just imagine the people how loud it must have been with all these guns firing all these cannons going off at the same time now one thing I did learn is that during the Civil War this fort was never attacked during the Civil War which I found was kind of interesting okay let's go see what we got here what the next building is. That building number seven. Does it say what it is? The first. Oh, I think it's all locked up. <laughs> that one's not open.
Well. Wow. Okay, mask back on. I gotta be talking to some people over here. So I better put my mask back on. Okay, buddy. Tell me, you wanna go over this way? And go up there? Hello, sir, how are you? Good, thank you. What if this is a forge? This must be a, a forge where they... Obviously, it looks like it. Wonder what they made in there. Cannonballs? Let's take a look. See what we see in here. Well, it says here. What does it say there? You gonna tell me what it says? You wanna read um, number eight? I can sum it up for you though. Yeah, just sum it up for me. They would heat the cannonballs red hot, and when they fire at the ship, it would, you know, destroy the ship. But it also set the ship on fire. Oh, okay, yeah. I remember reading about that. Probably in school, in my history books. I remember them talking about that. Get them cannonballs cheery red. So when they hit the ship, it would catch them on fire. Not only do the damage, but it would also catch them on fire. Oh yeah, look at that. You could see up in there. These, this is like rollers. Like they, they would roll down here. They'd open it up. They'd open this up right here. Right here, they'd open the door up. These doors would slide open. They'd open the door. Cannonball would come here. They'd grab it, run it up there, put it in the cannon, and fire it out. That's exactly how they used to do it. That is so cool. Right, let's get up there and see the view they would have had when they were shooting. Then we're going to go back and see if these guys will let us look inside any of their tents. I don't know, but I hope so. I hope they let us in there. Woo! Bunch of bugs around here. Oh. Everything says do not climb. That takes all the fun out of it. But maybe I can get a good look for you guys. There you go. That's a huge cannon. All right, we're gonna go down here, see what these guys let us videotape. Sure. Yeah, sure, yeah. What is that, do you know anything? It's a Henry, and uh, basically how you cock it, you go like this, and then, and this, but go, the spring will go up and then go down and make okay. the bullet get rammed in down in the barrel so that when you pull the trigger, it goes boom. Down. Wow. Yeah. I'm guessing that was probably maybe what a 45? Maybe 45 caliber, do you know? Yeah, 44. 44? Yeah. 44.40. Wow. That's really nice. I actually have a 4570 at home, Henry. But it's not not as nice as that. That's a lot nicer. Yeah, it was uh, built uh, by Sergeant Schmidt. I really don't know where he is, but he has a bunch of guns. Maybe he's over there working with the cannons. Uh, he might be at the two tents. You see that tent right oh, there? Wow. Uh huh. Oh yeah. He's probably there because that's where all his guns are. I'm gonna look inside this little tent to see how. Oh uh, no, that's uh, one of the. Uh, forget what his name is. Wow. Yeah. It's really neat. Uh, this is how the soldiers would yeah. you, sleep. If you follow me, I'll, I'll uh, let you take a look in his guns. Okay, yeah, let's go. Look at that. Got my own personal little tour guide here. This is awesome. Give him the business, Max. 
<laughs> All righty. Oh, looks They're like they may be firing. Oh, it's not really going to fire, I don't think, because we haven't heard a single one today. They've been doing it for like three hours. Oh, okay. Hey, Donna. Hello. Donna, yes. can I move the stuff I'll come behind? Max, I can't hear you when you're behind me. Uh, can I uh, get the stuff off of them so I... Can you kill those guys inside? Um, only if one of the night boys comes with you. Because they're supposed to do it today. I think Nathan. Do what? Look at the guns. Get one of the older boys to look at the guns. Like oh, the guns. Oh, is that what's in there? Okay. I'm just going to show those people. Yeah, no, go get Lucian or Mr. Fugie. Okay, we got all that stuff on there. You got to move that stuff on yeah. there. I'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Go get Lucian or Mr. Fugie. Okay. Can, I, can I come over and see your... <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> oh, I can do it by myself. I got it. Yeah, I'm just now, what, what would this have been? This is the sutlery, which was the PX or the commissary that, that followed along and was support for the guys. They weren't allowed to have breaks to go shopping. So if they wanted anything that wasn't provided by the Army, they would stop here and get it. So I've got cigars. I've got oh, medicine. Neat. I've got fresh fruit stuff that the army doesn't provide. Um, they might want to hang out and play some checkers. Um, the more longer I can keep them here, the more of their money I can get from them. Exactly. Because exactly. I'm, a, all look at the I'm pies. a civilian contractor. So, you know, we get stuff as it goes. Um, we get a bad rap in the literature because the guys were not shopping at home and they didn't realize that inflation was happening in the home front and the price of of meat went from five cents a pound to 25 cents a pound in a very short period of time. So they thought that I was gouging them, but oh. you know, there was no insurance. So I didn't have any way to, if I got shot or my stuff got broken on the trips, cause you know, we don't have, our wagons don't have um, shock absorbers. <laughs> so if the glass stuff breaks or stuff falls down or somebody steals it, they had a, they had a, three finger discount from cut rate pricing started in the civil war because yes. you know you get a bunch of guys and they'd come and cut the ropes and the tent would fall down oh. and they'd grab what they wanted that's where cut rate pricing came from <laughs> oh i didn't know that okay so, there you go wow so, you know but i didn't have insurance for theft so i and i wasn't allowed to have a gun <laughs> okay so those are all all things and every three months my um boys had enlistments much longer but every three months the the heads of the unit would renegotiate my contract um i can't sell whiskey to the men but i sell them brandied peaches a lot because that's how you preserve peaches and i'm sure they dump out the, the evils of liquor <laughs> oh yeah i'm um, sure they did <laughs> and then i do have some whiskey up there but you can see it's marked expressly for medical and family use and so oh, it's not okay. for drinking it's oh, for it's for right medicine yeah. so you know i have all kinds of medicines and teas and candies <laughs> and stuff you'd want if all you're eating is salted stuff i get lots of sweets are big and i'll get the pies as we go through towns i'm allowed to go through towns and go shopping so i'm buying retail and selling retail so my prices have to be higher for that too um, and this is we extend credit you can do up to a third of your pay for a month um, ahead of time so you make fifteen dollars a month as a private so i can get an extra five out of you wow, every okay. month um, a lot of the guys didn't have much money to send home because if you look at my prices if you're making fifteen dollars a month and you get a couple of a couple of uh cigars and some some uh, club tobacco you're pretty much out Candles were real important for the guys too. I was kind of the postmistress as well. Um, <laughs> we'd sell them stamps and the only time they had to write letters and they, this is the most prolific letter writing time of the, of the world. Um, everybody was writing home because they were seeing things that they'd never seen before um, and wanted to tell their families about it, wanted to hear from their families. Um, it cost three cents to mail a letter anywhere in the continental United States. Um, the guys 
who didn't need a stamp. They could just write soldier's letter on it and their wife would have to pay the three cents when it got home. <laughs> so a lot of times they'd buy a stamp for me and put it in the envelope so that they wouldn't have to do that because okay. a lot of the women didn't have three cents by the time they got home because they weren't sending their pay home. Exactly, they were spending they it were spending here. spending it here. <laughs> All right, wow. so I got the guns open. If you guys want to go okay. see them. Okay. Thank you very lady, much. Thank you. Did he bring over candy? Yes. yes. Okay. okay, we'll just take a real quick look at them. Yeah. I didn't even look. Well, it's all the candy we would have used for the gun shows, which we don't have. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello. So, so we'll put it in the box when they're ready. I guess it goes to the Wow. I, I don't know if they can. Max is wanting to show the guns, but you know more about them and handling them. So if you guys can help them. Yeah, we don't. You don't. Yeah, we don't. I won't really. I really won't. We really shouldn't handle them. I just. I just kind of just look at them. That's fine with yeah, me. Because I can't even handle them. Or if he just wants to open it to show me, that's fine. But I'm not gonna. I don't want to handle them or nothing. Oh, those are very nice. Yeah. Wow. Thank you for showing me those. And they're in a little coffin, isn't that cute? <laughs> I love the. Sorry. Oh, those are very nice. He just said one of the nice ones, and I didn't know which one, so I saw you, so I grabbed you. I'm the signal for one. I'm the signal for That's some guns. I'm going to go back. Thank you very much. Thank you for showing me. You're welcome. I'll remember that. There's really neat. All right. Okay, so now we're going to be off to. The next part of our tour, I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to be now. I'm, I'm a little lost. Uh, okay, I, I think this way. I'm going in the castle and look at the floor. Yes, I think that's where I'm supposed to be going. Thank yeah. you so much. I really appreciate that. No Thank you. All righty. Wasn't that very nice of everybody? I actually learned some new stuff too. Now those cannons going off, that's going to be fun when we get to that. To hear those cannons go off, I cannot wait to get to this part of the video. Well, let's go in here and see what's going on. Oh wow, here's an old well. One way only up. Should we go there first? No, let's go check out that first. Wow. That, that well is deep. What did you say? There's rooms there and there too. Okay, well, should we? Okay, we'll go up first, and then we'll work our way down. When we go down, we'll go that way. Definitely look like I mean, the way these are worn. Oh yeah, look at how these these are cut. You can see what cut with an axe. So these are actually the real steps. Those are still the original steps. Yeah. I forget what this is called, but this is actually wood pegs that they put in here. And this stuff's cut out with an axe. So this is original. Oh, here's their chapel. Here you go. Why don't you video me off to the side here? I do a, a little prayer while we're here at the chapel. Okay. Would you like to say a little prayer while we're here? What? A little prayer while we're here mm -hmm. at the chapel? Let's investigate this. I wonder if this is a real fireplace. See, well, let me show you guys what I'm looking at. Yes. I am impressed. Everything here is real. I mean, look at this door. Look at this door. You can see how it was cut out. Look at that. These timbers, oh, this is just absolutely beautiful. All right, let's see what the next room is. Wow, there's a lot of rooms down through here. 
some of the doors are shut. I don't know if we can get in everything. Oh, here we go. Little desk. This is just. What do you think? Officers' quarter, quarters? Definitely. Here we go. Bienvenue au quartier des commandants, comme il existait en 1750. Oh. Le commandant était normalement un capitaine dans la compagnie oh. franche de la marine. I accidentally pushed colonial the French button. Il était responsable pour des And I should have pushed the English button. So I have no clue what to talk about. Maybe we can come back and listen to it. After it stops, it will reset. This is definitely dining for the officers. No enlisted men would eat at a table like this. There's no way. I wonder what this was. Maybe where they kept all the dead bodies. All right, let's keep going. Huh? Are we not allowed in here or do we access it a different way? See if we can figure out how to get in there. See if we can. Oh, this is, oh yeah, we can. Oh, look at this bed. All right, here, film me. I'm gonna take a nap. Look at this. It's actually a rope bed. I probably should have put my head on that, but I am anyways. Ah. Good night. I could actually have been a soldier. As long as I had this kid, not an enlisted man, I could have been someone important. All right, grab the camera. Uh, must be a little workshop. A little woodworking shop. No. And of course the fireplace, all with these little kettles that uh, they'd make their soup, put their meat in there with some water or some vegetables or whatever, swing it over the fireplace. Swing it right in there. No, nope, they still don't let you in this way either, huh? Yes, it is locked. Okay. I can't believe they took they put wood plank down and then they put stone on top of it like that. Look out. Oh, that was just the. We don't have to go that way. That was just the the woodworking room that we had seen. Look at these yeah, corridors. Woo! All right, let's go this way. What's this? Oh, Okay, so this hours. is the guard room. During this time, they would serve as sentries for two hour periods. While not on sentry duty, okay, let's go upstairs. One way up. Only one way up. There we go. Going up. Wow. 
I want to look out one of these keyhole windows here. See what I can see. This must have. This one had to be full of cannons. Woo! Yeah, you can't see nothing out the window. Okay. You done, Connor? Okay, we got 15 minutes before they fire the cannons. Let's get there. Okay, want me to go first? I can. I'll video myself going down these really bad stairs. Hope I don't fall. Actually, if I fell, I'll probably make a good video. Everyone will laugh at me. I go viral. Then I'd probably even get a like and a share. Someone would probably like and share it if I fell down these steps. Wouldn't you? And you'd make me go viral. But I'm not gonna fall. I'm not gonna stoop to that level. I'm not gonna stoop to falling to get a like and a share. Alright, let's go back out here. Oh, how cute. <laughs> I love her bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You want to go over there and... Well, you we want to see what number 10 is real quick? we got 15 minutes. Sure. All right, we're going to come over here, see what this building is. I'm not exactly sure. Looks like it's kind of roped off. Oh yeah. What they're doing in there is I think they're cooking food for the soldiers. Yes, sir. Feed the soldiers here. The ones that are gonna defend they're gonna defend the fort over here. Fire their cannons. Alright, I won't let you go for now. They start firing those cannons. We're gonna be there. And you're gonna see it. Was it recording? Ma'am, you guys have got to move back. You can't be that close to the barrel. Thank you. One, two, three. Gunner's piece is ready. Gun number one, prepare. Fire! Number one, that was so cool. They're going to be firing it one more time. We're going to watch it. Well, I know they're firing it one more time at least. They might fire more than that. So we're going to go ahead and watch them reload it here again. And fire the cannon. If you were here, this would be great. You could feel the concussion of the powder charge when that cannon goes off. You can, you can just imagine having like a bunch of these going off at the same time. It would be absolutely amazing. This is crazy. Okay, they're getting ready to fire it again. Go ahead and lean the implements and post. Rear. 
And then take two steps to your left. So you, when they get to you, you'll then march to the limber with them. Okay? Post on the limber. March. <laughs> okay, I was wrong this time. They only fired it once. For now. I know they're going to be firing us some more when they do. I will record it and I'll get back with you. Until the next time they fire it. Connor and I had a great time here at Fort Niagara in Lewiston, just outside Niagara Falls, New York. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope we entertained you. Larry out. <laughs>